am going to break down exactly how my agency uses Go High Level as a local SEO agency. Now, this is a fairly recent offer we rolled out to land local plumbers, and we brought them into uh, Go High Level with a variety of sub accounts. And I'm going to show you everything that we have set up in Go High Level, how we manage our clients and how we manage their sub accounts. Now, we landed these clients with Facebook ads. So that's where I'm going to start. Let me come on over to the computer and show you. Okay, so one of the things that I really, really love about Go High Level is this conversations tab. It means any conversation we have with anyone across any platform, whether it be phone, email, text, it shows up on this conversations tab. It also shows us things that they've been doing, uh, opportunity updated, appointment booked. All of the phone calls you can see are recorded. So I can listen to the phone calls. If it's a sales call, I can listen to it, give notes back to my sales staff. Uh, but if it's a text message, everything is gathered here. And I can send anything I want, text, WhatsApp, email, and I can make outbound phone calls. So this conversations tab makes customer management so much easier with high level. But let me show you how our funnel works. So the first thing you'll need to do is make sure that your Facebook account is connected. And that way, when a lead comes in from Facebook, you'll be able to see it right here in high level. It'll automatically create the new contact and any tags that you wanted. This is where you connect Go High Level into your Facebook account. Now, uh, we're using Facebook lead forms, so all the information from the lead form is being copied straight over to the contact. And at the end of that lead form, we're asking them to, hey, if you're interested, go ahead and book a call with us. And we're giving a link to our call booking page. And this is the call booking page right here. It's pretty basic. Uh, but they'll, this calendar is also integrated with Go High Level. So this is where we start to knock out a bunch of other tools that we don't need anymore, right? We don't need click funnels because we have this landing page built in high level. We don't need Calendly because we have calendars inside Go High Level. So these are the calendars and you can see we can come in and we can edit and we can change settings that we want. Uh, we can change which advisors. We can do anything that we want. We can change some availabilities. Um, just as flexible, just as powerful as Calendly. Uh, but it's all included in uh, Go High Level. So on top of this, we have automation sequences. So we have a couple of automation sequences that are particularly important here for these front end clients. So first, we have an automation sequence uh, that when a plumber has become a lead, when they fill out the Facebook lead form, we're just gonna create the opportunity and we're gonna add a simple tag. That way, the opportunity is sort of the pipeline of the CRM. I'll show you what our pipeline, what that opportunity looks like. Uh, but this is the first one, very, very simple. And uh, then we also have this welcome. So Facebook lead form submitted, they get an email, wait three minutes, they get a text, wait a day, email, wait a day, text, wait, email, wait, email, wait. So, and this, you know, and again, we can just keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. But what we do here at the end of this sequence is we move that opportunity to a different stage of the funnel. So that way we know that based on the stage of the funnel, whether the, this welcome sequence has finished sending or not. Okay. And basically what we're doing in this welcome sequence is trying to get them to book a phone call with us. We do have their phone number. That was part of the lead form. So we could just cold call them. And some of my sales staff who particularly have a lot of initiative, they're going to do that. But other ones you may not want to call directly. In this case, we're using the sequence to try to get them to book a call. So here's what the opportunity looks like. So we can have, you know, somebody is a lead, they finish the lead form. Here's somebody who has finished the welcome sequence but hasn't booked a call. Now we know this because when they book a call, the welcome sequence stops and they get moved into booked call. We also have people who no showed, the call was completed, and, and they're in long-term nurturing. So this is how we manage our opportunities inside Go High Level. All of this happens automatically when they get moved from one section to the next, depending on how that lead is interacting with us. Now, when they book a call, we of course have an automation uh, that they booked an appointment. So the trigger, super simple, customer booked appointment. That's what they did, right? So that's the trigger. 
And the first thing we do is remove them from all workflows, okay? That's what I mentioned briefly. We do not want to keep sending them, please book a call sequence if they've booked a call. So we remove them from the workflows. We move their opportunity over to the fact that they booked a call. Internal notification, I, I notify the team, like, hey, this guy booked a call, this person booked a call. Uh, we send them an email, we wait, text message, and then we wait until right before the appointment, and we could have more messages in here, but uh, we only allow them to book two or three days out on the calendar. Like, they can't book for, you know, two weeks from now. They can only book a couple of days out. So we thank them for booking. Uh, in this email and text, we're gonna send them to a landing page that has a video, where it's a video of me thanking them for booking, telling them what they can expect on the call. We wanna get them excited about this call. Uh, we want them to show up. And then 24 hours before the appointment, we send out a text message to remind them. An hour, we send them an email. Five minutes, we send them another text message and end. So that's our appointment confirmation sequence. And again, super easy to change this, adjust this however we want uh, and right this is all inside high level we're not using uh, Zapier or anything like that uh, we're not having to integrate multiple tools we're not having to worry about if this tool can talk to this tool and if there's data getting left behind it's all uh, housed here on high level so once they become a client, we also use Go High Level to monitor. So you can see this is our clients. Uh, so they started onboarding and there's gonna be automation sequences for that. Somebody becomes a client, they're gonna get automatically moved to onboarding. Uh, internal notifications go out to my team members who are responsible for doing the onboarding things, start building their website, get their address, uh, and so on and so forth as they get moved down and uh, connect their Google business profile uh, at the very in there. So even that, and then inside this conversations tab, we can also use this to have conversations. There's nothing unread. I won't show you all the conversations, but all of our clients are on this conversations tab. They're all starred. So if I click starred here, and I'll do that real quick, I'll just blur this out so that you can't see the names. But uh, if you click start here, this is, these are all of the conversations with all of our clients. And again, text message, WhatsApp, email, phone calls, the phone calls are all recorded. So incredibly powerful to manage all of this in one location. Okay, so that's how we use Go High Level as our CRM. Uh, to bring new clients into our agency. Once we bring a new client in, we're also going to use Go High Level for our clients. So this is one of our client accounts. So you can see conversations tab, very similar, right? So th these are uh, customers of our client reaching out to our client, uh, their phone number, their email, all of that is integrated inside Go High Level. So we can see all of the conversations our clients are having with their customers. Uh, this can be incredibly useful if your client is upset that you're not getting them calls or leads. This is obvious evidence that we are. Or if you're charging per lead, something of that sort. Again, with all these recordings, you can very quickly see how many leads, uh, how many calls they're actually getting. So on top of that, we don't even need to use WordPress. High Level has free website hosting. So this is an example of the, the website I've hosted for a client on a high level. Uh, it's a pretty good website. And if I click here, I can go and visit the website. You know, it's not the world's best website, but it's not bad. Uh, it works, it gets calls, it ranks. And that's really what we're looking for here, okay? And we also, of course, have all of the same automation abilities for our clients that we had for us. So we can do a reputation management automation. We can do when our client gets a, a new customer, a new customer lead, uh, GMB, that uh, Go High Level calls it, but this is going away in a, in a couple of months anyhow. But, you know, someone uh, sends a message w to their client's GBP and they're going to get this automatic message. We can create it where when a review is left, that we automatically respond to the review, anything like that. We can also come in here and manage their social media, like their Facebook or indeed even GBP posts. So if I click through to the social planner, we'll be able to see all of the social media activities that we've connected. These are all Google business profile posts that we've done. Uh, I have a video on this channel, I'll link to it here, where we talk about how to use AI to optimize a GBP. So basically what we've done is uh, written 20 posts with ChatGPT and then scheduled them all to post a week apart. Uh, and then, you know, we have months of content that we can schedule in like a half hour. So one last very, very cool thing I wanna show you on this, uh, on the website. If I go and edit this website, 
it looks like this, custom values, okay? Custom values, custom values, custom values. And the reason it looks like this is because I had a tool custom built, custom coded, that will interact with ChatGPT's uh, API and rewrite all of the content for the website and then feeds it into these custom values on high level. Let me pull that tool up. So this is what that tool looks like. And you're basically going to fill out the custom value names. You're going to fill out the initial content. And uh, then ChatGPT is going to fill this out. So you can see in the settings, we have the prompt that you're going to use. Um, and we have instructions for how to get this set up. But basically, this allows you to create a 20 page website in just a few minutes with uh, high levels custom values and the ChatGPT API integration. So if this looks good to you, uh, I highly recommend you sign up for high level. I of course have an affiliate link. You can click on that and go through that. If you want this tool, it's available for free in my community. You can go to my community, uh, check it out there. If you sign up for high level under my affiliate, I will give you the snapshot of all of this. Everything that we use to build this agency through high level, I'll give everything to you so that you have it for building your agency. Now that you know how my agency uses Go High Level to manage local SEO, I want you to go and check out this ultimate guide to local SEO with Go High Level. There, I'm gonna break down a lot more information that you really need to know if your plan is to use Go High Level for local SEO.